are you, my friend? I know it's been a little bit of time, but I could not let 2022 end without doing a video for you. And tonight, tonight as we end 2022, I just want to lead a prayer to help, to guide, and to catapult us all into a new year. And I want to read to you before I go into this prayer, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and 19. Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19. And it says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And I just want to repeat that again. I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Maybe 2022 was not the year that you were expecting. Maybe you were hit left and right, left and right, right and left with attacks after attacks after attacks. Maybe you see yourself in a position that you did not envision. Maybe you thought you were going to be more ahead. Maybe you didn't think that you were going to be struggling with the same thing year after year. Maybe you feel like you're just repeating another cycle and you're not even looking forward to 2023. Maybe it just seems like another day. But I want to encourage you with the word of God. And God says to you, I will even make a road for you in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Maybe you find yourself in the wilderness with no way out. Or maybe you find yourself in a dry place where you say, God, I cannot feel you. But I want to declare the word of God over your life. And I want to prophesy to you tonight that God is making a road for you in the middle of the wilderness. He will make rivers for you in that dry desert area. So while you are entering into a new year, maybe not feeling encouraged, maybe not feeling like yourself because you feel like 2022 was just rough and you feel defeated and you're like, God, what is the purpose of this? Why am I even here? God, I don't see a way out. I don't feel valuable, God. I don't understand why you have called me. What do you see in me, God? Because I don't understand what you see in me. I don't believe in myself. I want to encourage you that if God has called you to it, he will equip you. 2022 may not have been the year that you expected. But I am believing that as you enter 2023, God is going to elevate you like never before. He's going to reveal to you why things did not work out in 2022. And the lessons that you have learn throughout the trials and the tribulation are going to help you to exceed and to succeed in 2023 my brothers and sisters in christ this is not the time for us to give up but it is the time for us to go deeper into his word it is the time for us to seek him in spirit and in truth it is the time for us to be hungry for him again it is time for us to deny the flesh and seek things in the spiritual realm the world is calling for our attention left and right but god wants more from us our relationship with christ may not be where it needs to be but make it a priority that you enter 2023 with God on your right hand side with you walking hand in hand with God the way you exit a year will determine how you will enter a new year my pastor says that all the time 
And I want to exit 2022 in the presence of God. And this is why I'm making this video. I don't ever want to make a video just to put out another video. I don't want to ever just do a video without having substance, without having the presence of God. And sometimes that is why you see me not posting. I will never just post to get a view. I will never just post to just throw something out there. But I want to post videos that have substance, that have meat, that have the presence of God. And I am one to admit that sometimes I'm not perfect. I fail daily, but it is the word of God that lifts me up. It is the word of God that encourages me. It is the word of God that sets me straight. It is the word of God that cuts me and cuts every single thing that is not like God that purifies me. And I want to be purified. I want to enter 2023 in the presence of God. I don't want to repeat the cycles. I want to break generational curses because I know that the enemy is after my children. The enemy is after my marriage. The enemy is after my calling. The enemy is after my ministry. But I declare that in 2023, I will not throw in the towel. I will finish strong and I will do all that God has called me to do. And I believe the same thing for you. I believe that you will get through it. I believe that God is breaking those generational curses off of your life. I believe that 2023 is going to be a year of supernatural blessing where we will see the hand of God like never before. I believe that God is making a road in the middle of the wilderness i believe that god is making rivers in the desert because even in the dry desert place i will still feel the presence of god god is still walking with me god is with me so as you are there as you are reflecting on your life as you are reflecting on everything that happened in 2022 i want to pray for you a prayer that I believe will shift you into the right direction for 2023. I believe in you. I am proud of you. And I am glad that you are still alive and breathing. Maybe hanging on by a thread, but I want to tell you that I'm proud of you. If no one else has told you this in 2022, hear from your sister that loves you. I am proud of you. I am glad that you are here. I am glad that you did not fall to the trap and the lies of the enemy to take your life. I am glad that you are fighting tooth and nail to be alive. I love you and God loves you and there is nothing that you have done that can ever separate you from God. There is no sin too great that can separate you from God's love. He loves you so, so much. And I need you to believe that as you enter 2023, I feel the presence of God right here in my dining room area as I'm making this video. I have chills all over my body and I just feel like God wants to tell you that he loves you so, so much. He loves you. You are the apple of his eye. You are his child. He has not left you nor forsaken you. He will make a road in the middle of your wilderness. He will make rivers for you in the desert, for you to drink, for you to be refreshed, for you to be rejuvenated. God loves you. So right where you're at, if you can just join me in this prayer, I believe that God is already there with you. He's saturating the place. He's saturating the atmosphere. He's sending the angels to be there with you. So, Father God, we just come before your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you honor and glory, God. For all that you have done in 2022, God, the good and the bad, God, I thank you, Jesus, for who you are. 
You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. There is no one like you, my God. We have searched all over. We have tried everything, God, and nothing completes us. Nothing makes us whole. Nothing heals us like you, Jesus. God, we present to you our sins. We lay it before your throne, God, and we just ask for forgiveness. We repent, God, and we ask you, Holy Spirit, that you fill up our lives like never before. May we exit 2022 empty of ourselves and filled with your presence God may we enter 2023 with expectancy God with hunger with power with authority God with anointing God we don't want to be the same God and this is not just something that we're just uttering from our mouths but God listen to the cry of our hearts and our soul God listen to the cry and the hunger of your children that don't even have the words to utter anymore because the enemy has tried to make them weary the enemy has tried to bring shame and guilt God the enemy is trying to consume them with their transgressions God but God I silence the voice of the enemy me right now and I declare that you will hear our cry that you have heard our cry God our spirit our soul our heart is hungry for the one true living God for Adonai for Yahweh for Yeshua Hamasiah you are Jehovah Jireh you are Jehovah Nisi you are El Shaddai you are Jehovah Rapha God we call on the God of Israel of the God God of Moses and Jacob and Isaac, we call on the God that sees all, knows all, and is with us in all time, God. You are omnipresent, you are omnipotent, and there's no one that can be compared to your greatness, God. Cleanse us, God. Purify us, God. As we enter into a new year, may you shift our mentality. May we see clearly, God, in this new year, God. May we be hungry and desperate for you, God. May we study your word. May we eat your word, God. May you fill us up, God. May you give us rivers inside of us, Father God. May you bring peace and hope. So many people are struggling right now, God with mental health issues so many people are struggling with the things that they didn't get to do in 2022 they're they're looking back and they don't see themselves where you want them to be but god i know that you have them right in the palm of your hand you have them right where you want them you have them right at the point of surrender god may we surrender ourselves to you god may we say god we've tried it and now we need you to take control we rejoice knowing that we are in the palm of your hand god may we rejoice knowing that you are with us knowing that you are going to quench our thirst god we are thirsty and hungry for the living god god i don't want to be the same god i don't want to recognize myself i want to do more for your kingdom god i'm hungry for you i'm desperate for you i need a touch from you god renew my mind god renew my mind let me kill this flesh god god i want to be more like you I want to reflect your son Jesus wherever I go, God. I want people to know that you are alive, God. May I never be ashamed of the gospel, God. May I study your word, God. When the enemy wants to bring distractions, may I have my spiritual eyes open to know that it's not another tactic of the enemy, God. May I know, God, even in my darkest hour, that you will provide a way out of no way, that you are the God of the impossible, that if you split the Red Sea for Moses, you will split the sea for me, God. God, may I know, may I know that you are with me. May I know that the same way that you were with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is the same way that you are with me, the same way that you are with Daniel and the lions, then God, you are with me the same way that you were with Abraham and Isaac, God, when Abraham was about to sacrifice his one and only son, God, you will provide for me in 2023, you have brought me out of so much, may I never forget 
May I never forget what you brought me out of, God. May I never forget the little miracles, may God. I never forget that some of the things that I am living with now, God, are answered prayers. Prayers that I prayed years ago, God. God, every spirit of confusion, God, that is attacking your children, God. Every spirit of identity issue, God, may we, we come against it right now in the name of Jesus. Pour out your spirit upon your children, God. God, may we come alive. May we be alive and not just live every single day as a routine, God. But may we take advantage of every single day that you have given us here on this earth. May we take advantage and make a difference. There are souls at risk of going to hell, God. And I will not stay shut. I will not stay shut, but I will preach your word. I refuse to allow rocks to speak in my place, God. I rejoice knowing that I have the God of Angels army on my side. If you are for me, who can be against me, God? I declare your word. I am the head and not the tail. You are with me. You are with me. Wherever I go, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not faint, God, because you sustain me. You are the air that we breathe, God. You are our, you are the air that we breathe, God. As we inhale, we say, Yah. As we exhale, we say, Way, well, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. God, we have been so selfish making everything about me, myself, and I. But God, may we make this about your kingdom. May we make this about your will. May we make this about your people, God. So many people, God that are losing their lives every single day, God, and they don't know you. They haven't had the opportunity to accept you, God. We put away the things of this world, God. We put away, we didn't renounce witchcraft, God. We renounce, God, crystals. We renounce new age religion, God. We renounce spirituality, anything that does not have to do with Jesus Christ. We renounce it, God. Any false idols that we have lifted up before you, God, Be before even spending time with you, God, whether it be social media, whether it be video games, God, we want to spend time with you, God. The enemy has tried to attack us, God, but we will not back down. God, your word says in Isaiah 43, 7, everyone who is called by my name by my name whom i have created for my glory it's for your glory god it's for your glory we are called by your name and we are alive for your glory we are alive to make a difference to make an impact in this world god for everyone who is called by my name whom I have created for my glory. This is about you. This is about your kingdom. This is about your glory, God. I exist to glorify your name, Jesus. I exist to, to exalt the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I live to exalt you who can come against you, God. You are the champion. We have the victory. We have the victory in you, Jesus. You rose on the third day, God. We have victory and life in you. This is not our home, God. Don't allow us to be comfortable. This is not our home. Because you are coming back. And on that great day, you will sound the trumpet. And I declare to my ears that my spirit is alive, God. To hear the trumpet blow, my children will witness, God, that you are coming back for them. God, every generational curse that your spirit, that your children are struggling with, God, I declare that we will break it. We will break it, God. 
It will not pass down to our children, God. It ends with me. It stops with me. I will not be my own worst enemy anymore. I will not be the reason why I do not do your will. I will not talk myself out of doing your things anymore, God. I come against myself for not believing in myself. I come against myself for not believing that I can do your will, God. For not believing that I am called. God, I come against myself for speaking down on myself for not believing in myself for saying that I'm not good enough for saying that I have no value for saying who am I God you have called me you have called me God may your children have strength to go through the waters to pass through the waters your word says in Isaiah 43 2 when you pass through the waters I will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overflow you we have been walking in some deep deep waters sometimes we feel like we're drowning like there's no way out God but you are with us and the rivers will not overflow us will not take us when you walk through the fire you shall not be burned nor shall the flame scorch you that is what your word says God this is the word this is your holy word that you have given us so when we feel down when we feel like we can't keep going God when you pass through the waters I will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overflow you and when you walk through the fire you shall not be burned no nor shall the flame scorch you for I am the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel your Savior I gave I gave Egypt for your ransom God thank you thank you for your word that brings life that brings life to your children that brings life to me that encourages me that reminds me that no matter what you are with me my God my God you are holy, you are holy, you are holy, you are a just God, you are a righteous God. My heart, my soul cries out for the living God. You are holy, you are holy, you are holy, and I can't wait for the day where we are reunited with your son Jesus, singing and crying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, God, for the precious gift of life. May we never take for granted the air that we breathe. May we never take for granted, God, the air that we breathe, even in our darkest hour, even in our darkest moments. God, may we never take for granted the air that we breathe. You are still standing. You are still here because you have a purpose. God is not finished with you yet. God is not finished with you yet. I feel the presence of God so strongly. He is here. He is with you. He is with you. He is with you. He has never left you. I know you feel like you're by yourself sometimes, but God has not left you. God has not left you. He has not left you. It is not time to throw in the towel. It is not time to give up. It is not time. It is not time. He brings dry bones to life. The flames will not scorch you. The rivers will not overthrow you. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. You are redeemed. You are beloved. You are his child. You are his precious, precious child. He loves you. There is nothing that you can do that can separate you from his love. 
There is no lie from the enemy. There is no darkness. There is no mountain. That mountain that continues to get in your way. Just speak to your mountain tonight. Speak to your mountain tonight. Be vulnerable with your father. Be transparent. Be honest. Be open. Tell God what it is that you are struggling with tonight. Renounce it. It does not have the power to to take over you. It does not have the power to overthrow you. Renounce it now in the mighty name of Jesus and be free. Something is breaking tonight. Things are breaking. Generational curses are breaking. Chains are breaking. The, The chain breaker is in the room and there is no telling what he can do. He is breaking yokes. He is destroying yokes. And at the name of Jesus, demons have to flee. There is power in the blood of the lamb that was slain on Calvary. God, we call on your precious blood and we declare freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare freedom tonight. Freedom tonight. Freedom tonight. Freedom tonight. Freedom tonight tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, you are worthy, God. You are worthy, God, of all the praise, of all the honor, of all the adoration. You are worthy, God. You are worthy, God. You are worthy, God, and there is none like you. There is none like you, Jesus. Thank you for seeing us. Thank you for seeing little old me. Thank you for taking care of little old me, my God. You are worthy. You are worthy of all the praise, of all the honor, my God. I am in awe of you and all that you do. I know that there are testimonies that are about to flow from this video of what you are doing for them through the midst of this video. People are being healed, God. Marriages are being restored. Generational curses are being broken. Bondages are being destroyed. Chains are being broken. God, we thank you. May all the honor and all the glory be given on to you God because it's by your will because you saw it fit my God this is the year God that you are taking your children to another level this is the year that you are taking them over the mountain God may we be obedient to your will God may we say yes to every single assignment that you have given us may we say yes god to be your vessels may we empty ourselves of us may we let go of the things that are in our hands so that we can receive everything that you have for us god our hands are empty to receive all that you have for us tonight god my god you are so worthy god We are your servants. We are your children, God. May we receive our inheritance from you, God. May we receive power and authority as we walk into 2023, my God. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy. We thank you for this time in your presence, God. We believe that it is done in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, I love all of you so much. You have brought a community, family into my life. I was not expecting all the love that I received from you guys and just the little things that I do and just bringing you guys a video. My goal and my my goal for 2023 is to continue to preach the word of God, to continue to read his word, to help those that are struggling, to continue to pray for you guys, to continue to, to share his word and what he has for you. I know so many of us are struggling. I know so many of us are going through it. But I want you to know that I'm praying for you. 
I believe in you and that I love you and that I'm so grateful to have you in my life. My goal for 2023, like I said, is to continue to preach the word of God. Please, please keep me in my keep me in your prayers. Keep my family in your prayers. Keep my children in your prayers. As you know, ministering and preaching the word of God is not easy and the attacks have been hard. The attacks from the enemy against my family, against my children are there. They're evident. He's not happy with the things that I do. Um, please pray for um, a ministry that I'm over in my church. I'm the kids director at my, ch uh, at my church. Uh, please pray for Elevated Life Kids. Um, may God continue to take that ministry into a higher level. I have been given the honor and the privilege to be their children's director and teach them week after week. And if you know children are not easy, um, uh, I'm with them 90% of the time throughout the month. So I'm not really in a church service. We have a very small group of teachers that have said yes, that have been amazing and have been a blessing um, to be with the children. But our goal in the ministry is not to babysit children, but it is to teach them how to have daily encounters with the Lord, to take our Sunday encounters and teach them to have daily encounters with the Lord. And they are the next generation. They are the next pastors, prophets, evangelists, teachers, psalmists, you name it. They are the next generation. And it's been an honor and a privilege to serve them and to see them grow hungry for the Lord. So if you can please keep that ministry in your prayers. I don't want to fail them. I want to take them to the next level. I want them to grow up and to know that they had a teacher that cared about them. And gave their all to them. I want them to know that they are loved, that they are valuable. And that God is with them. So please keep the ministry in your prayer. As I continue to pray for you guys, please keep that ministry in your prayer. Only God knows what it, what it feels like to teach the next generation. And I do not want to fail them. So if you can just keep me in your prayers. If you can keep the ministry in your prayers. And if you can continue to keep this YouTube ministry in your prayers. So that I can continue to do what God has called me to do. Because I don't. I want to continue to do this for you guys. I want to continue to reach the lost souls. I want to continue to reach those that don't believe. I want to reach the atheist. I want to reach the one that's a witch. I want to reach the one that is captive. I want them to know that Jesus loves them. I want them to know who my father is. Who their father is. And I want them to have life and peace and joy with our father. Thank you for a wonderful year. Thank you for an amazing 2022 on this platform, on this ministry. I cannot wait to take this ministry higher and deeper in the presence of God in 2023. 2023. God bless you guys. I love you. You guys are all amazing. God bless.